Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm gonna share a tip that will help you get palettes that are off screen, where you can't see them, back over onto your workspace so that you can work with them. This is a common issue with my custom workspace and probably other people's workspaces as well, because not everybody works on the same size screen. I'm working on a Cintiq 27, which is 27 inches wide. And so that means that if I open a palette like Advanced Brush Controls, and it happens to appear over here on the right, which they commonly do appear over on the right, then anybody who has a screen that's not as wide as mine is going to find that that palette appears to just not open at all. It would be way off screen like this, and you'd be going, where the heck is that palette? Well, it's there, you just can't see it. And there's really no easy way within Corel Painter to take those palettes and automatically move them over so they fit on the screen. I have to remember each time I save my workspace to open every single palette in Corel Painter and move it over and then save my workspace. And anytime I have to rebuild my workspace, I have to remember to do that each time. And so at this point, it's been happening so often that I decided there has to be a better way to do this. There needs to be a way for people to be able to access palettes that are off screen. Now, because you can't do this in Corel Painter, I found a way to do it within Windows. This may also work for Mac as well, but I'm not sure because I don't own a Mac. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. I'm going to take this palette, the advanced brush controls, and I'm gonna move it way over here. And let's just put it a little bit off screen so that we get the idea that it's somewhere off screen where we can't see it. Now to get this palette back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my control panel and I'm gonna to go to my display settings where it controls the resolution of the screen. Now, depending on whether you're using a single monitor or a multi-monitor setup, you're gonna to wanna to do this a couple of different ways. Let's start with how to do it with a multi-monitor setup first. You'll know that you have a multi-monitor setup because you'll see three different monitors here. You'll also see under multiple displays, extend desktop to this display. So on a multi-monitor setup, we'll wanna select the monitor that has Corel Painter on it. And then we'll go to advanced display settings and we'll change the resolution. Now, right now my resolution is at its highest setting and this is how detailed the picture is on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and set this very low. I'm gonna set this to 800 by 600, and that's gonna make the screen resolution very low. So Corel Painter is gonna be huge in proportion to the screen. I'll click on apply. I'll go to keep changes. I'll go ahead and just hide this for now. You may find that your calibration is a bit off on your pen. Right now my cursor is very far away from the tip of my pen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my mouse. Now you'll notice that Corel Painter is all smashed together in the center of the screen, but we can also see that advanced brush controls palette now. So we can take that palette and just drag it over to the left. And in fact, you could move stuff out of the way and you could access these menus and then pull out the palette that you want. And then again, just move it all the way over to the left. Then you wanna go back to your control panel, go back to your resolution settings and just set it back to whatever you had it as before. In my case, that's 2560 by 1440. I'll go ahead and apply that. I will keep the changes, and now all those palettes that I moved over to the left stay there on the left. And so any palette that was inaccessible because it was too far to the right is now somewhere where I can reach it. So that's how you get palettes back on screen with a multi-monitor setup, but let's take a look at how to do it with a single monitor setup as well. Now with a single monitor setup, changing your resolution doesn't always work. So another option that we can try is to change the size of the user interface in Windows. Right now mine is set to 100%. You can see that palette is clearly off screen here. And if I change it to 125%, all of a sudden those palettes jump around and that palette ends up back on screen. Now we can take it, we can move it over to the left, and we can go back to our display settings in the control panel and set that back to 100%. And we've successfully retrieved our missing palette. So if you ever find yourself in the situation where you're trying to open a palette from the window menu and it's not showing up, now you know how to get it back. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.